Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last video, I put the steering column in, hooked it up down to the rack. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook up the power steering hose using this kit. This is Borgeson kit 925101, and it's specifically to hook up a GM um, power steering pump to a Mustang 2 rack. Okay, so this is what you get in the kit. Basically useless instructions, basically not instructions for this kit whatsoever. They're for more generic ones. It talks about cutting and putting fittings on, but in this kit, you know, fittings are already there. I mean, you can't cut to do anything with that. That's the feed line, the pressure line. The return line is here because the other end is just hose clamped on. They give you these little three I don't know what you call them, ferrules or something, with a hose clamp. Nice to give you a hose clamp. And I'm thinking what that is, I'm guessing, is if we compare the end of the return line on the Borgeson kit to the end of the stock return line, the stock return line, the, f the flare is sort of up the tube a bit, whereas this one is at the end of the tube. And I'm wondering if maybe these somehow fit in there to give the same effect as that. But again, they didn't give us instructions. So uh, we'll just have to get in there and uh, see how it goes together. I emailed Borgeson and asked him about these. Are they supposed to go like that? And they replied within an hour, yes. They also said, which is interesting, that you, with these, you don't need O-rings. So, uh, time will tell, I suppose. So, uh, yeah. As much as I wanted this Borgeson hose to work, there's no way it will. Problem is, here is my outlet for my, or sorry, inlet for my power steering rack. But when I have my uh, bracket on with my power steering pump, the outlet for the power steering pump is right here. And there's no way in heck, I tried every way, there's no way to twist this around back on itself to have the outlet here and the inlet here. So I have to sell that. Um, Return line will work, but I'm going to go with the original. This is a factory return line. I just put a flare on it, put the hose on it. Return line, no pressure, that's fine. So I'm going to have to try option number two, which is... So this is a stock pressure line for a S10, a 2000 S10. What advantage this gives me is this is the end that goes into the back of the power steering pump. And what this curvature does is it brings it back out in front. And then this, I can swing back onto the rack, which will be about here. To do that, I'm going to use this. Yeah, sorry, that. Which is a hydraulic, reusable hydraulic hose. So basically, this goes onto the pipe. Sorry, that's the hose. So this will go on the hose here. I'll cut those here and put this on. And then this end will go into the rack. Theoretically. So my buddy Steve did this already for his car. And he gave me his, his uh, line that he made, which is basically what I'm going to do. And it fit beautifully. So now I'm making my own. And... We'll let you know how it turns out. So to clarify how this fitting actually works, the uh, there are two ends that comes apart as you saw. You have the hose end and then you have the rack end. So when you unscrew the hose end, it has internal left-handed threads that you basically screw over the hose, the cut hose. And you make sure the hose is fully seated inside of that end. And then what you do is you take the um, rack end which has a tapered tube that will go inside of the hose and then screws 
into the hose end. So this is what I ended up with. Okay, so there it is installed. It's coming out of the rack. There. Loops around. And into the back of the pump. Return line just goes around. Pretty simple.